so today i am going to show you the two cases of the ventral abdominal hernia in cow and incidentally we have the two cases on same day if you see here so this cross bred cow you could see swelling in the ventral abdominal region here and if you see the from the right side and here if you see this animal this is also cross bred cow so this swelling is here also but this swelling is relatively less as compared to the this one and if you see from the this caudal side so you could see here the swelling is here and uh, now you could see from the left side so this is the this from the left side this swelling is at the dependent portion and we examine this animal after putting in the dorsal or supine position so we found the rent in the almost in the mid line and that rent was or hernial ring was around uh, 24 cm in the length and uh, 18 cm in the width so we sent the owner uh, to bring the mesh so we are planning to apply the mesh in this case and here this case presented uh, a few hours back so still we have to examine this animal but as per the history in this case the history was that uh, after parturition so owner noticed the such type of swelling and before parturition uh, this animal uh, fell down on ground so probably the muscles was rupture are weakened but after parturition so there is a herniation so this is very interesting that uh, we have the two cases on same day and both cases having the almost similar type of the disease condition that is the uh, ventral hernia and in both cases the rumen is herniated if you see here so in this case rumen is also herniated and in this case the rumen is also herniated so after doing operation definitely i will let you know the progress of the surgical intervention and if possible so definitely i will also show the procedure